Good morning, people. It's John Petty Potts, 9.30 in the morning, and the Daily TV Mass is finishing up on uh, Vision TV out of Toronto. It's always the worth watching. They take and priest did a wonderful homily this morning, Father Ernie DiCiccio, and he reminded me that this morning is Saturday, and it's the 20th day of January 2024. So next week will be Saturday, the 27th of January, 2024. Father U.E.D. McDonald, a saintly Father U.E.D. McDonald, died, went to heaven, on it would have been Thursday morning, the 31st day of December of 2019. He was 94. Had he lived another four weeks, he would have celebrated his 95th birthday. So we get 2019, 2021, 20, 22, 23, 24. I believe he would have been 99 years old next Saturday. And this video is something, and I have a Cape Breton sweatshirt on deliberately, Cape Breton Allen. Get to that in a minute. Something Father U.E.D. McDonald, who I knew half his life, almost half his life, and uh, he, he, one thing he never said, I never, never once in the 45 years plus I knew him, which is approximately half his life, he was 94, say approximately, best, uh, almost half his life, I never once heard that priest, that man say he helped anybody. I'm going to repeat that. That's what I say. That's an ultimate compliment. I can sincerely say all the conversations I've had with him over the years, I never once heard the words utter out of his mouth that he helped anybody. Not even once. Not even once. And I have the Cape Breton sweatshirt on, and I have a Cape Breton flag here. Father U.E.D. was born in Upper Springfield, Springfield, Ohio, outside of St. Andrew, St. Joseph's, Ohio, and Guinness County, mainland Nova Scotia. And he told a wonderful gentleman, Port Hastings, he says, Raymond, my heart's in Cape Breton. And I don't know why he was ever buried in St. Indian's uh, parish. He, he, want, he, he said, quote, Raymond, and he told that to many people, my heart's in Cape Breton. He dearly loved Cape Bretoners. So I've never in my life heard that blessed gentleman once, not even once, utter the words he'd helped anybody. And when he died, the obituary, I think he only had one sister, and there was a few nieces and nephews, but uh, several of the parishioners in his final parish of St. Stellamaris Crignish much as obituary together. And there's a paragraph in that obituary, a line in one paragraph, and it reads as follows. The groceries he bought often weren't his own. The groceries he bought often weren't his own. And what they meant by that was they people over the years, everybody knew him. He was pastor in Port Oxbury, St. Joseph's, you know, Al Madame twice. He was at uh, Stillamaris Craignish, the longest of all his many postings. He's Larry's River. In Glasgow he was, but 20 years still a marriage. So people knew him very well. And he was a tall, distinguished looking gentleman, kindly, Mr. Rogers Purse type personality. Say hello, small, say hello to everybody. And very sincerely. And they'd see him with this big cart of groceries in the store. And whatever is special that week, 10 or 12 bags of, big bags of Arrow Compliments macaroni or pasta sauce or bottom part of the cart, seven or eight, 10 or 20 pound bags of potatoes on the bottom of the cart, or several family packs of uh, hamburger on sale. Okay, what the man that was a tall guy, but he certainly wasn't a glutton by any means, he was a fairly slim guy, tall, slim Scottish guy, what he was doing all the groceries. And it, it, it doesn't say it outright, but it basically is, the groceries he bought often were his own. He spent basically his whole salary to buy groceries to help families in need. Old people, uh, widowed, sick, uh, people going through a hard time. And that is the whole story of Christ can be wrapped up in Father, saintly Father U.D. MacDonald. And never once, I repeat for I think the fourth time in this video, did I ever hear him utter the words he helped anybody. Could be a drug addict or somebody with, struggling with alcoholism. In many cases, get cured of it because of him. Uh, they take and uh, 
his guidance and the grace of God. That he can, uh, he never once said he helped anybody, but he was doing it all the time. So when we do something good, it should always be kept quiet. With that, I got to go and I say, God bless the Saint Me Father, you be up in heaven now for what? Five years and uh, five years and and three weeks as of as of now. And thank you. And we say, tap, let, let's say our Father for Father Udi. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven, and gives us a daily bread and forgives our trespasses as we those trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And tap, let, God bless Cape Bretoners and, and great people everywhere. Thank you. Bye for now.